Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the sum of direct stresses on two mutually perpendicular planes. So, direct stress on an inclined plane at angle theta is given by sigma theta is equal to this expression which is 1 by 2 sigma x plus sigma y plus 1 by 2 sigma x minus sigma y cos 2 theta plus tau sin 2 theta. So, in this we are going to discuss about the sum of direct stresses on two mutually perpendicular planes like consider this is a b plane this plane is a b plane and on this plane direct stress is sigma x and perpendicular to this this is b c plane and on this direct stress is sigma y now let's consider there is one more plane which is inclined at theta angle theta angle from a b and this is b d plane and the direct says let's say on this plane is sigma theta and perpendicular to BD there is one another plane which is BE plane and direct says on this plane is sigma theta plus 90 degree. So now we'll see sigma theta plus sigma theta plus 90 what the result will be there. So now we can discuss sigma theta plus 90 or we can say direct stress direct stress on an inclined plane inclined plane at angle theta plus 90 degree will be sigma theta plus 90 degree is equal to 1 by 2 sigma x plus sigma y plus 1 by 2 sigma x minus sigma y cos 2 and at the place of theta there would be theta plus 90 degree plus tau sin 2 at the place of theta this is theta plus 90 degree. So if we simplify this expression this would be 1 by 2 sigma x plus sigma y minus 1 by 2 sigma x minus sigma y cos 2 theta and this would be minus tau sin 2 theta. We will find out the summation of these two or we can say on adding these two will plus sigma theta plus 90 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y. So now so we can say since the sum of direct stresses sum of direct stresses sigma x and sigma y is constant The sum of direct stresses, sum of direct stresses on two mutually perpendicular, two mutually perpendicular planes at a point, at a point, at any angle at any angle theta and theta plus 90 degree remains constant remains constant and equal to sigma x plus sigma y so we can conclude that on two mutually perpendicular planes the sum of diet stress will always remain the constant and that would be equal to sigma x plus sigma y. So, thank you.